Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chomps Live Breaks. Big show tonight. Thank you for being here. Let's get fired up. Just past midnight in the east. Nine in the west. And 11 in the beautiful state of Arkansas, home of Chomps. Yes, it's still on the map. Mother's Day, this Sunday, May 10th, year 2020. Let's get it cranked up. And with that, we begin what is the last show of the night here at Chomps. This has been a very fun triple header. We started the night with... Uh, with a Don Russ, and we then did uh, Heritage, our first Heritage uh, break. That was a lot of fun. And then we wrapped tonight, of course, with the second installment of Gypsy Queen. And I got to be honest with you, I, I'll, I'll tell it like it is here. The first half of that Gypsy Queen case, not great. Not great. You can go back to watch the video. Some of you, I imagine, are back. You may remember that and say there's some goodness in this second half. If tonight's iffy, okay, we didn't get a great case. But that doesn't usually happen with Gypsy Queen. So I am excited. I think this is going to be a great show. And I thank you all so much for being with us. First order of business tonight, happy Mother's Day. To all of our moms and, and grandmothers and anyone joining us celebrating mom today. Hope it was a wonderful day. Some of us have work tomorrow. Some of us still don't. But I'm glad you give me your Sunday night. So welcome to Chomps Live Breaks. I already see some action in the chat. Ron, I know we were waiting on the payment on a couple teams. You paid in full. I sent you a message that said the global shipping program thing. It didn't uh, It didn't uh, work out for me to send you an invoice. I sent you a message on that. Maybe you didn't see it. So get with me after the show. Maybe shoot me a message. Maybe you and I can just work something out on that uh, extra shipping. I, I, I don't know why. I think it worked the first time. It didn't work the second time. Wouldn't let me do it. So uh, thank you for taking care of that. You and I will settle up on the back end. No big deal. Uh, looks like we got a first timer in the chat. All you need is cards. Hey, welcome aboard, cards. Who are you rooting for tonight? Oh, he says all the goodness is with Lux. You must have the Dodgers. You must be Louie. Very good. Welcome to Chomps. Welcome to the family. Happy to have you guys. If you like what you see, you know what to do. Hit the little sub thing. Tell your friends, share, follow, all that fun stuff. I am stoked about tonight we are going to have a great time together and in fact Dwayne says i agree got skunked the first time around which is why i jumped in this one good call on that typically that works out well for you Dwayne. you've done your homework you're with us so uh we do have a lot of great hits here kind of get known for that it's a newer channel and i thank you all so much for your support let's have some fun tonight shall we let's go ahead and take a look at our teams for the evening Stephanie says, is the video playing? It just says it can't be played in the background for me. Um, I, I think it's playing. We're getting some communication here. Eugene R. says, Tatis, let's go. He must have the pods. He sure does. Let's take a look at our pairings for tonight. Hopefully, Stephanie, you get that working out for you. It worked before for you. Uh, Stephanie M., you're back. Arizona Diamondbacks, you've got to get started. The Atlanta Braves and John B. Welcome back, John. Philip A. with the Orioles. Lynn C. has those Red Sox. Jeremiah D., you, I think you've been on every uh, show tonight. Thank you for being back. You got your cubbies again. Best of luck to you there. Jim J. with the Cincinnati Reds. Welcome back. Logan F. and the Cleveland Indians. We've got Dominic L. with the Rockies. The Sox, Stephanie M., you've had some great luck lately. Good luck to you. Matt M. with the Detroit Tigers. Ryan C., welcome back on the Marlins. Stephanie M. also grabs her Astros. Kansas City goes to Jim B. Dwayne, friend of the channel, welcome back, buddy, on My Angels tonight. Got skunked before? Let's change it tonight. How about a trout? I want to pull a trout auto. I know you want me to pull it, too. Louie, brother, welcome, man. Happy to have you in the family. You've got the Dodgers. Best of luck to the boys in blue. Jeff W. on the Brewers. Twinkies goes out to Joseph S. Ricky R. with the Mets. Welcome, Ricky. The Pinstripes, the Bronx Bombers, goes to Carl H. All kinds of people we're looking for there tonight. Mike W. in the A's. Daniel L. in the Phils. 
William H. has his pirates. Eugene, let's go to Tease. Let's go to Tease, Eugene. You got the pods. We've got Ronald J. and the Mariners. Jeff W. with the Giants. Dwayne M., you've got your Cardinals. Mark, you've got Tampa Bay. Jim B., you've got Texas. Lance, we're looking for Bo. We're looking for Vladdy. Let's go. Lance P. and the Jays. And Ronald J., you've got your Washington Nationals. Best of luck to you, my friend, tonight. This is going to be a lot of fun. Matt says he thinks he sees a Miguel Cabrera auto looking at him through the boxes. I'd be cool with that. Matt, you would be too, right? Oh, Bryce is nice from the d 34. Ooh, Phil's Daniel, let's go. I like it. I like the mojo, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's talk first about the product. You know how I like to do here. What are we cracking? Well, you know, it's five boxes, half case, a Topps Gypsy Queen. Uh, we're looking for the autos. Two on-card autos per box on average. I have only seen one box that had one, and that was actually a loose box. That was not part of our cases. So we're hoping that uh, we get at least the two on-cards tonight. You're going to get a lot of cards with this, a lot of packs. We get 24 packs per box, eight cards per pack. So everybody goes home with something tonight. But it's not just the autos. That's not all we're looking for here. And this is why we love the product so much. We're looking for the short prints. We're looking for the logo swaps and the missing name plates and the Jackie Robinson and the Players Weekend and all of the legends that we get short printed. There's all kinds of goodness in Gypsy, and I'm stoked we're cracking it together. So welcome aboard. Let's do this. Good luck to each every one of you. I'm going to drop this camera down just a little bit. We also do this fun thing called Chomp's Big Bite of the Night for you first timers. We're going to set up a few stands here. I got a feeling we're going to need them. Basically, as we go, we are going to decide together what those best hits were, and those are going to be considered Chomp's Big Bite of the Night. So let's do that. Dwayne also says, please no Indio or Blue discussion. <laughs> Just call them numbered. No one can tell the difference. Stephanie's going to help us again, you know, and she's also looking for the Eloy Redemption or the Patch Book. That would be sweet, Steph. No doubt. Stephanie is the a Blue versus Indigo Whisperer. For those that are new to the channel, she was helping me out, and I still sucked at it. Dwayne, you're totally right. Uh, it's just going to be blue probably tonight, okay? Uh, we'll see what happens. So, best of luck, friends. My favorite sound. Let's get it on. Hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. I know this can be a bittersweet holiday for those of us that have lost parents or grandparents. Uh, but the ones that are still here, obviously, I hope that you had a great day with them. At least called mom or called grandma. Wish them a happy Mother's Day. I had here at the Shark Tank, we had a bunch of people here. My whole family congregated. We had a great time together. Uh, you'll notice here, I was going to set aside the three chrome cards. Box topper uh, comes inside the box. They messed up last year. They put them outside the box, I understand. And some of the dealers took these and then, you know, sold the, the boxes like that. So... They're all inside. We're going to uh, open these up at the end. Not together, but each box. At the end of each box, we're going to go ahead and do these together. We'll open them up, okay? So I'm just going to set this off to the side. going to sit right there for us. Louie says, Gypsy Queen became his favorite baseball product this year. I don't blame you a bit. We can always talk about those really super crazy high-end products, but look. For the, let's call this mid-range, for this mid-range price point, I don't think it gets any better than Gypsy. I'm right there with you. I'm, I'm such a huge fan of this product. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Best of luck. We'll talk through this together as we get some of the variations and things. One of the things right off the bat we want to look for, this product is extremely consistent. Uh, the fifth card, the fifth card in the eight card pack is usually where that short print or where that hit is going to be. So we're going to watch that, uh, watch for that together. If I miss something, you guys just let me know. Let's go. We start off with Matt Boyd. We got Matt. Rizzo. And our fifth card there is Anthony Rendon. Don't see anything special about that guy. We'll also check at the end uh, for Bazooka Backs. I'll make a stack of cards per box. Um, some of these boxes, they have been upside down, right? So you get an idea that, hey, we got a hit there. But in this case... Uh, I think we've got a couple bazooka, uh, bazookas last time, and they were not. We had to actually flip them over, so we're going to do that. And if I forget, you guys need to remind me. All 
Our fifth card there is a tarot, but it's upside down. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. It's a blue. It may be an indigo, but it's a numbered card. And it is Jordan Alvarez to get us started. Stephanie M., you get the Jordan to 250. That is 84 out of 250. What a cool card to get it started. I want to put that one in a top loader for you, Steph. That one is certainly worth it. Yeah, it's not considered a hit as far as an auto. So what? That's a beautiful card. Is it too early to set it up on a stand? Nah, let's put it up on the stand. Early contender for Big Bite of the Night. Nice pull, Steph. Way to get us started the right way. You have been hot here at Chomps. Let's keep it up. Matt says, nice hit. No doubt about it. We were talking about in the last show, you know, you pay up for those some of those teams. And it's not that I, I you know, root necessarily for the, for the big teams. I just know that you just pay more money. And you want to see them do good. So here's the fifth card. What do you see different about it? It's the fact that they don't have a name on it. So that's called a missing nameplate variation. And that is Yadi Molina for your Cardinals. So there you go, Dwayne. You've got you the Yachty missing nameplate to get this break started tonight. Nice start. Dwayne said, let's go. I think he said that before that card came out. So, Dwayne, you're, uh, you're seeing the future a little bit here, man. You've got your first uh, short print there with the missing nameplate. Pretty cool. One of the things we just love about the product, all kinds of goodness. I call it treasure hunting. It's kind of like we talked about in the last break with Heritage. It's not just open cards, look at the card, and wait for an auto. It's, it's a lot more than that. I think it makes it fun. I also, I don't go too fast, you'll notice. I like to drag it out just a little bit uh, so you guys see the cards. And I flip it over here just to see if it's a bazooka bat because I didn't see anything special with the fifth card. You'll see me uh, do that. Dwayne says, already better than the first half case. You're not wrong, buddy. You're not wrong. That was actually pretty rough. I think we all agreed this uh, this second half was going to be a lot better than the had to be a lot better than the first. <laughs> Ron in the chat, good to see you back, buddy. Thank you so much for your knowledge that you brought to us in Heritage. That was uh, very valuable, considering it's the first time I'd cracked the product. Good to see you back. So here's something you're going to get. Oh, it's Vladdy, nice. So you're going to get fortune teller inserts. They're thin, and they're going to be kind of have that orange look. If they have a different color going to be a short print this one is going to be a base we'll flip it over just to be sure but that's going to go out to the toronto blue jays lance p you've got the vladimir guerrero fortune teller i was mentioning before i do go a little slower maybe than most breakers a lot of them uh just kind of fly through and they look for that hit it's not really me um if that annoys you just jump out of here because i'll do a hit recap at the end but on a on a sunday night on any night for that matter you paid your hard-earned money for a break you're spending your time with me Let's, uh, let's just break together. Let's have a good time. Let's see what we got. I'm going to adjust this camera just a little bit more to make it easier. There we go. I'll get some of that glare out of there. Our fifth card, this is called a tarot. So another insert. This is the Ronald Acuna Jr. tarot card. Remember, we had the other one flipped over, and it was Jordan. It's the first flipped over one I've seen in this case. So that's a nice hit there for the Atlanta Braves. John B., that tarot card will come your way. We're, of course, looking for the rookies, looking for all the big ones that are in this set. Jake says, come on, let's pull some Pirates. Let's go. I'm in on that. Let's get the Bucks tonight. Oh, you guys know I love this guy from the first chat. Williams has to deal. Look at that neck. They did him no favors. We said it last time. Not even his... You know, his family probably ribs him like nobody's business over that. Oh, we got a hit, friends. That's card number five. That's going to be an auto. So I'm going to set this down. We're going to have uh, Mr. Leba rookie there uh, watch over it for us while we finish this pack. And we're going to get into our first auto of the night. Poor Astadio. Jeez. He's got a fortune teller card. Doesn't look so bad. But uh, that first one, that's rough. That's, that's, that did him no favors. Here we go, friends. Best of luck to you first time around. Oh, it's Christian Yelich. Yes, Milwaukee. Jeff W. How about the on-card auto for Christian Yelich? Wow. 
one of the best players in the game, year after year, and we got a Yelly. Look at that. It's not just about the rookies. It's also about the stars. My goodness. Definitely going to put this in a top loader for you, Jeff W. Wow. Louie, thank you for the compliment. It says, I love your knowledgeable with this product. I wasn't very knowledgeable on the last one with the Heritage, but I was also up front with everybody that it was my first time. I have cracked a lot of this. So outside of the blue versus indigo discussion that where they both look alike to me, uh, I, I do have a little bit of knowledge for you. But uh, the only way we all learn is when we drop the knowledge together. So keep that coming. That's a beautiful hit. I'm going to set this up on the stand. We may run out of stands tonight at this rate. That's okay. Uh, Dwayne, you can say it again. Already better than the last one. That Yelich would have been the best one from the first half of the break. I was just, I honestly, I don't think I've ever seen such a bad five k, a five box break half case. Whoa, Eugene says one hundred forty three bucks on eBay for Yelly. How about that? Nice. That's worth the price of admission times several shows. Brewers don't tend to be one of the higher teams. Kind of that middle of the road. Our fifth card. Hey, it's another Jordan. Yes. Tarot card. Jordan Alvarez. Rookie card. And Steph, I'm going to top load that one for you too. Boy, here we go. Here we go. I had a feeling. So did you. Those of you that came back, you knew this was going to be better. And it already is. These are cards we didn't see the first time around. Nice card, Stephanie M. Welcome back couple of Jordans. You got the this one. That was the same card, but it was the uh, numbered card to 250, just in comparison. I love that. Oops, I almost put the base back up there. That would have been okay, too. That's a cool card. Love those Jordans. Set that one aside for you, Steph. And we continue. Hopefully this is one of the longest breaks ever, because we just keep stopping going, whoa, whoa. So the last one didn't have to take that long. We just kind of we just kind of moved along. Didn't have a whole lot to get excited about. Stephanie says uh, last Yelich base auto sold for fifty one. So there's kind of a range there that we're looking at. Scherzer on card four. So our fifth card, uh, where that hit usually is, is going to be a Shohei Otani. For Dwayne, that's going to be your fortune teller, Shohei. There it is there coming into view. Nice card. That would be a base fortune teller, but it's still Shohei. You go, Dwayne. Get some angels going tonight. I don't know that I'd take 51 for that card, even though that's what it sold for. So here's an AJ Puck. Some of your top rookies I'm going to go ahead and just sleeve up now. Oakland A's and Mike W. That's your first puck tonight. Good job. Yeah, for $143, I'd probably sell it. For $51, I'd probably keep it. $100, mm, I might sell it. I might. It's cool to have a yellow auto, though. Card five, where's another hit? How about that, friends? Another auto coming up, our second of the box, as promised. Delo says, I love AJ Puck, yeah. Now's the time to hold on to his cards. I think, I think that dude's going to be really, really good, actually. So here we go, Mr. Baez, rookie for the Padres, has got it covered up. Best of luck on the auto, Brendan McKay! Yes! Two straight amazing autos! Brendan McKay, on-card, rookie card auto, Mark B for your raise. Boy, Stephanie, you know this, you said it last show, we score on the raise. Just know that. Every product, I don't know what it is about this show, we freaking crush the Rays. There is a beautiful Brendan McKay rookie auto out of Gypsy. Man, aren't you guys uh, that just joined into this one, you, you got to be happy that that first half was so bad. Because I have a feeling this is going to be really, really good tonight. It already is. I mean, this first box has been very, very impressive. Brendan McKay. Okay, you can go up on the stand. You talked me into it, Brendan. Delo says, nice, McKay. Stephanie agrees. Rays always hit. Stephanie's your third or fourth show. You already know that. Man, oh, man. Dwayne says he's in a gypsy break yesterday and top screwed up, put two redemptions in the same pack. Holy.
Holy moly, I'd like to do that. A Michaelis base and then a Robert logo swap. Goodness gracious. Yeah, D'Lo bidding on the Rays. Sounds like you missed out on him tonight. Card five is Trey Mancini. Don't see anything special with this one. We'll check for a quick bazooka back. Don't see one there. Again, at the end of the box, we'll, we'll uh, sift through them. But uh, Mancini, you guys probably know, diagnosed with stage three cancer. That is, um, mm, that's a bummer. Uh, you hate to see anybody, for that matter, get diagnosed with cancer. It obviously doesn't discriminate, but it kind of surprises when um, it's a young, athletic guy like, uh, like Mancini. What a great star in baseball. Doesn't get the kudos he deserves, probably just based on where he plays, but seems like a great guy. There's a Nico Horner, a rookie there for Jeremiah. We'll get that one out to you, buddy. Hate to hear that about uh, Trey. Oh, and we got a Jordan. We got a Yo Oh, my gosh. Did you see that? Are you kidding me, Stephanie? That was the fifth card. Guys, check this out. Holy moly, it's a bazooka. I don't know that you can pull a better rookie card variation in this set than the Jordan bazooka. Whoa. Are you kidding me? My kids are not here right now. They're with their grandparents. That is unbelievable. Otherwise, I'd be worried I'd be waking them up. Seriously. I can be as loud as I want tonight. Dudes, welcome to the second half of Gypsy. Oh, my goodness. That one, guys, respectfully, it's going to be hard to top. We are in box one, and I have already put four cards up on that wall. Let that sink in a minute. That Jordan, I literally, I don't know if you can see it. I have chills. I have freaking chills right now pulling that card. I love cards just like you guys. I'm on the other side of these breaks, too, where you guys are. Steph, I don't remember what you paid for the Astros, but you have already crushed it tonight. Oh, just take it in. Take it in. Oh, this box is epic. Absolutely epic. Eugene says $100 for the Yordan. There you go. Plus, you've got the variation, the numbered already, the other, the other, your, this is one box. We're not even, you, we have all these packs left. Eugenia <laughs> said she outbid me. If you could look into the future, funny we're talking tarot cards and all that, right? You could look in the future, uh, you'd have, you'd have slammed that bid. My goodness, there's a Kyle Lewis rookie. Card five here is Justin Smoke. Don't see anything unique with this one. Again, they're, they're, uh, they're going to be card five, it seems like, but it doesn't always mean that card five is going to be something. That's just where they're going to be. Stephanie says she got it for 56. Well, I'd say you are doing pretty good in the first, I don't know, 15 packs. My goodness. Those top teams, your Astros, your, your, you know, your, uh, your Blue Jays, your Angels, your Dodgers, they tend to do really good in any, in any product, right? Oh, look at that. Y'all see that? What's that? That's a logo swap. See how it says GQ everywhere else? That is a logo swap right out the gate. Variation, short print. And it's Kevin Kiermeyer. So Tampa Bay and Mark B, you have the Kiermeyer logo swap variation. Love to see that. We'll get that sleeved up and put off to the side to look at later. Dwayne's calling for a rare trout sighting. You know, Dwayne, you've been around here long enough to know I'm a huge Angels fan. And I've been saying because of uh, Trout's exclusive uh, contract with Tops, I love buying Top stuff because I want to pull a trout. I know it won't be mine. It's going to be one of yours. I don't care. I want to pull it. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. Straight up. And if we get the trout tonight, uh, it's just the cherry on top as far as I'm concerned. Our fifth card is a tarot. It is Raphael Devers. That's called the World there. Flip it over. Nothing uh, different about that one, but that's your tarot insert for Devers. Paxton and Bell. I am uh, I'm borderline shaken. We just put together a Facebook page. Again, this is all pretty new to us. I, I've been on the other side of breaking for so long on your side, and I decided uh, I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it for myself. And this channel has just absolutely taken off. It doesn't hurt that we get the big hits. But honestly, I just think we have a lot of fun together. And that's why it's going good. Look at this. Bo Bichette. Rookie card. So even though it's an insert, 
you'll see the little RC there. It's still considered a rookie card. So Toronto, Lance P, gets the Bo Bichette Fortune Teller rookie card. Nice one there for you, Mr. Lance. Well done. Stephanie says, I knew I had to come back after that first half. Yep, that's why Dwayne's back. Delo says, that's a cool bow. Yes, it is. Love pulling those out of here. One of these days, we're going to get one of those fortune tellers with the auto on it. I know they have those too. I don't think we pulled one in the last couple of cases we've done. Maybe now is a good time to do a shameless plug. Many times, those fans of Gypsy Queen, I know there's a lot of us out there right now. Here's the fifth card. I don't see anything unique with it. Let's check for Bazooka back. Nope, I think that's a base. I have been asking the chat when we have GQ out if you guys would love to do a full case of this stuff. I always do half cases. It allows me to break twice instead of once and that sort of thing. Well, I um, had decided because so many people said, let's do a full case together. We're doing it. It's on eBay right now. Um, and in fact, that is Thursday night, if you guys are interested in that. That is Thursday night at 11 p.m. Eastern. We are going to do 10 boxes, a full unopened case. Got my hand on another one. They're not, they're not been easy to come by, respectfully. Uh, there is a judge, Aaron Judge Fortune Teller. That's the base there. Yeah, Stephanie. Man, I'm not, I'm, I don't need you to take out another mortgage because we know that one's going <laughs> to, those prices are going to be kind of high. But how much fun, you're not, you can't get skunked on a half case in that, in that, <laughs> in that case, right? We're doing the whole, the, the whole thing. So if you like this product and you want to be a part of a full case break, I'll move a little faster than I'm doing now. I, I, I try to pride myself on not doing what some of the pros do. And, and no knock to them. They, they crack a lot of stuff, but they do move real fast because they kind of know where those hits are going to be. I'm going to try uh, to move faster than this, but not their speed, if that makes sense. How about this? So we have a short print. This is a Legends card. Anytime you're going to see a higher than 300 card number, uh, that is a legend. So Carl Yastrzemski is a short print. Boston, Lynn C. This one goes out to you. Congratulations on the Yaz. Beautiful card there. I'm going to put that in a top loader for you. That's how I like my legends. Stick them in a top loader. So do the same for you. That's fun. Nice card on the Yaz. Way to go, Lynn. How much better can this box get? Delo says, see you Thursday then. <laughs> It's going to be fun. I can't wait. Uh, and there's a Lubob. Nice. Our first Luis Robert sighting goes to the White Sox. Stephanie M. Killing it. Knows what teams to get. Nice card, Steph. Add that to your growing pile, my friend. That's just going to be fun. And in fact, that night, um, we're going to do uh, two shows. The, the Gypsy one is later. Uh, of course, that's 11 p.m. Eastern, or 12 p.m. Eastern, rather, 12 a.m. Eastern, 11 p.m. in Arkansas. Uh, but before that, we are going to do, I've not cracked uh, 2019 Panini Leather and Lumber, but I've got a, a case of that, and we're going to crack half of it that night. So this fifth card is a Dustin May rookie card. That's very nice. We'll check for anything, any variation. I don't see anything on there. Um, fine card in itself. I wondered because it was the fifth if maybe there was something special to it. I don't know that it is. I don't see anything special about it, but that's your fifth card. So that's another product I'm trying to get schooled up on. Panini 2019 Leather and Lumber. Why I went ahead and got a case of that was because with that, we're going to do, I think it's five boxes, eight packs per box, but each pack has a two hits in it, an auto and a memorabilia. So with that half case break, we're going to have 40 hits. So that Thursday show is going to be lit between the leather and lumber and then the full case of Gypsy. I'm going to have no voice the next day, but who cares? We're cracking cards. We're going to have a good time together. Yeah, mark your calendar for Thursday. Going to be a big night here at Chomps. Our fifth card is uh, Christian Walker. Don't see anything unique about that one. I'd say this box has already been pretty good to us. They can give us a bad one here and there. Hey, Bo! Hey, Bo Bichette, sighting, Lance P. Very nice. Good stuff. Ron says he pulled a Trout Bazooka Auto last week, 21 to 25. Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious, speaking of Trout. 
It's not an auto to 25, but it's a base. Still a beautiful card. That is amazing, Ron. Honestly, if it was me being such a huge Angels fan, I wouldn't sleep. Wouldn't sleep that night. All right, I see color. There is that blue versus indigo argument. Uh, and it is going to be Rodriguez. That is Eduardo Rodriguez for the Boston Red Sox. And that is number 250 of 250. What do we call that here, friends? An eBay one of one. Don't you hate that on eBay? It could be the number one. It could be the, the jersey number is pretty cool. I'll give them that. It could be the last one like this. Uh, it could be the favorite combo they order from McDonald's. I don't know, but every every short print they try to call a one of one. No, a one of one is a one of one, but that's still cool. Good hit there for Boston. Lynn C. Got another nice uh, sleeve card coming your way. We're all fans, and, and we all try to get as much as we can on eBay. I get that. But don't say it's a one of one. It's not. It's a 250, but it's a cool card. <clears throat> Too gimmicky for me. I think we're all over the gimmicks. There's a nice judge. And our fifth card here is going to be J.D. Davis. I've seen him as card number five. Uh, you'll see some of the same guys in the set. Uh, Fletcher stands out as someone you'll see. Uh, it's just kind of being one of those non-short print cards. But I'd say this box has been pretty good to us. Last pack, box one. There's a Yelly. Fifth card is Simmons. He's another uh, filler in there most of the time for not being a short print. Don't see anything unique about that one. What a start, friends. Let's go ahead and uh, check the beautiful three chrome cards inside box topper. With as good as this box has been, it would not surprise me if something cool came out of here. Swim. Best of luck on our chrome topper. Yeah, baby, it's a gold right out the gate. How about Mr. Paul Goldschmidt? This one is going to be numbered down to 50. Six out of 50 on the Goldschmidt. Nice, Cardinals. That's Dwayne. The gold, goldie, 250. Beautiful card, my friend. Card number two. Is going to be Mr. Aaron Nola. And our third card is going to be DJ LeMahieu for your Yankees, Carl. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and flip through and just check for bazookas. And like we saw before, I, I still can't believe we got the Jordan. That's just freaking cool. They're, they're very colorful. You, you can't miss them. It's kind of like the heritage stuff we cracked earlier. We actually pulled one of those one in 200, what was it, 248 packs, the French, the French version of heritage, French back. That was bright yellow. You could not miss it, but you had to check. Always have to check. You get you get uh, fooled by the some of those tarot cards because they're bright too, but the bazookas you're definitely going to gonna notice. Dilo said that's a heck of a first box. I agree, buddy. Man, if we can somehow try to top that one. It would be an embarrassment of riches tonight for us. No surprise with how bad the first set was. I didn't know it was going to be this good. I just figured it would be better. That's why I gave you my disclaimer, my thoughts in the first half. Now I've cracked enough cases to know. I don't care what the product is. If it's that bad the first time around, stick around. It's worth sticking around. All right, so I just checked all those. And I'm going to move these out of the way here. Y'all bear with me one second. And we will get into our second box of the night. You see there, we've got our boxes still set up, and we've got our four Big Bites of the Night candidates chilling out waiting for us. I'll give you guys a little look there. There you go. All right, friends, let's do this. So I said before, love the sound. Ron says, we are on the way. We're on the way for a big night, buddy. Can't think of a better way to end our week than cracking some cards and cracking a loaded half case of Gypsy. Take our chrome topper, put it off the side here. One of the 
the reasons why we've had so many good hits lately. And, and I mentioned before we had a new Facebook page. Just a, just a few days of, of pictures on there. But you'll see we've got some really cool stuff lately. We pulled a couple of one of ones out of Archive Signature. Tribute just absolutely crushed the second half of Tribute because the first half wasn't very good. You see a, you see a theme here. Um, I like to put the cards, the big hits on there. But uh, follow that if you can. I don't know that, that you know the likes and stuff didn't mean a whole lot to me. But I do like to put the, um, the show schedules on there and some of your big hits to go back and see and make comments on and that sort of stuff. It's kind of fun. So our fifth card here of the first pack is Austin Dean. Don't see anything with that one. Something that, that is a little tough to tell. I'm going to just, just break uh, here for a second. Um, you're, one of the Jackie Robinson variation... It could be anywhere. You're looking for the number 42. It could be clear. They could be wearing it on their jersey. But it could be on their little wristband. Or it could be something on their shoe. That's the Jackie Rob. We had one like that last time. And they're just, they're kind of hard to see in some cases. But we want to look. We know it'll be that fifth card. So you'll see me pause and just take a take kind of a close look. Flip it over. Could be bazooka. Because that's where uh, a lot of those hang out. The only thing that's real consistent that I've seen with this product, otherwise, like where the autos are going to be, uh, we crack a lot of Donruss, and Donruss, I know where they are, uh, you know. Oh, look at that. Logo swap. We got another variation, friends. That's going to be Kevin Newman for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Kevin Newman, Pirates William H. You were calling for your bucks earlier. How about a Gypsy Queen logo swap? Kevin Newman. Nice job, William. Put that aside for you. Yeah, as we learn things together about Gypsy, we definitely want to share it. Yeah, Dwayne says that the Veterans Day, most difficult, usually it's the camo uh, socks. Yeah, that one's tough too. I didn't even mention that one earlier. They seem to be kind of hard to pull. At least in my experience, we've opened a lot of this. Our fifth card is going to be Tyler Glass now. Don't initially see anything special about it. Not a bazooka back. So we'll keep moving on. But again, it's possible, kind of like to Dwayne's point, it's possible that we'll miss some stuff here. Even though I feel like we do know the product, especially those folks um, in the chat. They've caught things at time. And please, if you catch something or you think you caught something, shout it out. I'll, I'll go back. Um, but treasure hunt when you, when you get these cards, I'm not one that just sends you hits. Every card you see tonight, you're going to get in the mail. So check it out. Go back through them. Here's a fortune teller, Dylan Cease. That is a rookie card for the Chicago White Sox, Stephanie M. You've got another Dylan Cease coming your way. Stephanie says it could be the hat, too, the camo. It could be the hat. Yeah, you got to watch real closely. At least we know it's card five. At least we know that we can go through these and kind of stop at five. There's another Dustin May. Another Dustin May uh, rookie card there. Card five is going to be another Yelich. Top uh, sure likes Yelich. Uh, we had several of him out of Heritage, a couple of toppers. That's going to be the tarot card, Strength. Very nice. Still looking for our hits. Don't know where they are. I like that better than knowing where they are. Because the card shop is kind of a, the retail card shop is kind of a dying breed. Oh, speaking of hits, I called for it. We'll put that down there. Kind of a dying breed, but if you uh, you have one in the area and you've got Don Russ and you need a little tip, you talk to Chomps. I got you, fam. All right, Munoz for the Padre is going to cover this baby up. This is going to be autographed 3 of 10 tonight. And it is Allard. I don't, I don't know this one. K. Allard? Colby Allard. That is for the Texas Rangers. I'm assuming rookie. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe a reliever. Know anything about Colby Allard? Jock, uh, drop in the chat. But that is an on-card auto. Jim, your Texas Rangers. You get our third autograph of the evening. Congratulations to you, Jim. Put that in a top loader. And we will feature that in just a bit on the Hits Recap. Ron says, nope, don't know that guy. That's all right. So I'm assuming he's a rookie. I don't know. First two autos was Christian Yelich and the Brendan McKay rookie. 
D'Lo says former Braves, he believes. So maybe not. Didn't have rookie card on it, right? So he it, it, it could just be a reliever or something. That's just kind of an obscure name in the in the checklist. Well, we get that one out the way. We got a first first couple were great. Our fifth card is, uh, is uh, Simba. Remember I told you you'll see him a lot. Uh, David Fletcher you see a lot. You'll start to see some of the same names in that card five. There's a rookie card, Adbert Alzale, for your Cubbies. Crack enough of this stuff, you start to get an idea of the, the way they do the print runs. Some of those same players you see. We're all checking anyway on camera just to just to make sure, but you see a Simmons or a David Fletcher, it's it's not. Oh, here you go. Do you see the color difference? That's going to be a black and white parallel. That's going to be numbered to 50. Good luck on who it is. Oh, it's Acuna! Yes! If you wanted a black and white, Acuna is a good one to have. Look at that. 35 out of 50. Braves, Lynn C. Beautiful card. Acuna, black and white parallel. Woohoo! Loving Gypsy. It's getting better and better. Let's put that one in a top loader. Y'all are going to cost me a fortune in top loaders. I don't want to just do the autos. I know a lot of them do the quote hits. Now we're going to put any of these real nice ones. Get you a top loader for that because that's how I'd want it. Let's set you up here next to all Jordan as another candidate for Chomp's Big Bite of the Night. Delo says, wow, these are just fun to open. I was shocked that the last, I keep mentioning this, and I apologize that the half case was so bad, because I love opening these cards so much. And I remember finishing the show going, that wasn't very satisfying. That that was not our best break we've ever had. And then you get into one like this, it's just so night and day. I mean, any pack could just be magic at this point. Oh, there's another hit. Those two came out fairly fast together, guys. Kind of like the other two. Mr. Jake DeGrom has got him covered up for us. Best of luck to you on the fourth auto of the night. And it's Will Smith. Yes, Will Smith for the Dodgers. Louis got Will Smith. On card auto. Beautiful Will Smith. Ought to be a great player. Nice card to get. When you see the Dodgers, you hope for a Gavin. I understand that. We pulled actually a lot of uh, Max Muncy out of this. I'll take a Will Smith. Not bad. Let's top load that guy for you. There you we go, says John. Ron says Yelich has a green batting helmet in Armed Forces, one in over 1,200 packs. Well, the way this is going, would it surprise anyone if we got that tonight? Not me. Not me. John says, for comparison, Acuna sells anywhere from $20 to $50. Good hit. That's worth the price of admission as far as I'm concerned. Everything else now is just gravy for the Bravos. They've already had some hits tonight. Good investments tonight, friends. I know some of, I say that. Some of you haven't got anything yet. I'm, I'm keenly aware of that. Hopefully we change it. Rendon. You'll notice I, I've mentioned Simmons. I've mentioned Fletcher and, and Rendon. A lot of the Angels, for whatever reason. Not so much Trout. But a lot of the other angels are that fifth card when it's not a short print. I didn't check the back for us. We'll just check that for Bazooka. But yeah, uh, they, they've chosen the angels, my team, for some reason, to be like the, oh, the fifth card. Come on. Nope, it's an angel. That's all right. Not always. you see a lot of them. Well, Dwayne says he thinks his rarest hit's a Bazooka Sosa short print. Jeez. One in every 1,800 packs. Yeah, that's pretty rare. Our fifth card is Nomar Mazzara for the Sox. Take a good look here. I don't see anything special about this one. Not bazooka so we'll move on. John, I'm sorry. It says uh, whatever the uh, the eBay name was, Lynn C. I just uh, wrote that in. I'm sorry. You're right. I was looking over at the Red Sox. I did say the wrong person. Acuna, John. Sorry about that, brother. I know who it's going to. <laughs> I just said the wrong name. Congratulations on that one. Very cool, brother. Fifth card here. Oh, it's a missing nameplate. Very cool. Cincinnati Reds. Jim J gets the Sunny Gray. Missing nameplate short print. Get that baby sleeved up and in the recap. 
Nice. Stephanie says her rarest pull here is the Redemption of Otani. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I think you told us about that last time, but feel free to tell everybody again. Love sharing these best hit stories. The mini auto black and white Lizardo is more rare. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. But the Otani's pretty cool. But again, I've got the microphone. I'm an Angels fan. <laughs> Give me the Otani all day long. If I had the other one, I'd just trade you and say, here, you got better value on this one, but give me the Otani. Uh, fortune Teller, that's going to be a Nick Senzel. So Jim, couple, mentioned a couple times here lately, gets that Senzel fortune. Good stuff. So we're four autos in. Unless they screw up, that would be it for this particular box. But hopefully we have some more goodness in the way of the, the colored cards. Ten times as much as the <laughs> So you're telling me you wouldn't take that bet? You wouldn't take that swap? Come on, Steph. That fifth card is a Rogers. Uh, it's Jake Rogers for the Tigers. I don't see anything special about that one. So we'll move on. There is a rookie card. Oh, John got an Acuna uh, weekend. Uh, so that's the player's weekend with the logo swap. Jeez, that's rare. When you start seeing the double variations, I hope we get some of those tonight. They're usually flipped upside down, that card five. You know they're going to be good. There's a Brennan McKay. Very good. John, back into cards. First gypsy break. Hey, you know what? I can appreciate that. I've kind of gone off and on over the years. There's a King of Swords tarot. That's Chris Bryant for Jeremiah's Cubs. I'm glad you're back. One thing we have seen together is a resurgence in the hobby. Now, there. this is a, this is a sensitive topic we'll, we'll get into here for a second. There are those that say the breakers have <clears throat> really ruined the hobby, that they're driving up the prices because they buy so many cases. I understand that point. There's a trout fortune teller. That's a base, but that's going to go out to Dwayne. I can understand when people feel that way. But I also believe that because of breaking, there is a resurgence in the hobby. Why? Because instead of paying $800, $900 for these five boxes, you can pay anywhere from $10 to $50, $60 and get in on some teams and get what you want. There's another ask the deal. So I think it's fun. I think people have caught on to it. Yes, the breakers, like myself, we do buy a lot of cases. But uh, we keep uh, keep it going, too, in our own right. There's the uh, fifth card. Don't see anything special about that one. It's not bazooka -ed. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad to hear that you're back in the hobby, though. Makes me happy. Hopefully you have a nice break tonight, too. John says, best way to collect if you're a team collector. I agree with that. You just go after what you want. You don't mess with anything else. Here's a uh, tarot, and that's going to be uh, Aaron Nola. It says King of Wands. For your fillies, it's going to be Daniel L. Dilo says, agrees with me. Not many humans out there buying a definitive case. No. You know, the most expensive stuff we've cracked recently has been Tribute. We did a full case of Tribute, and I've got another one I found on, on the way from the supplier. Thankfully, I got another one. You guys really like that stuff. Uh, we had a really fun show. Was, I think it was last night with Tribute. We got a Reggie Jackson Shadow Box Auto to 30. Um, that was probably the highlight. Speaking of Reggie Jackson, boy, like I couldn't have planned that any better. How about that? Reggie Jackson featuring uh, his Oakland A's uniform there. So that's going to go out to Mike W. That is a short print. Very nice. On the Reggie, let's top load that one for you, Mr. Mike. John says, back in the hobby, he's already noticed quickly 30 variations of every player. <laughs> yeah, true. But doesn't it kind of make it fun? I think it makes it fun. It's not just open the pack, see the card, put it away, put it in your closet, forget about it. It's a, it's a treasure hunt. 
how fun, especially with Gypsy. If you if you got your favorite player, go try to find, go get his logo swap, go get his missing nameplate, go get his bazooka. Try to find a player's weekend if they have it. I just it's great. I think it's awesome. Stephanie says love tribute. Maybe my favorite next to this. Yeah. Well, Steph, I don't know that I've planned the next tribute. I probably have. I just don't have it in front of me. But we'll uh, we'll be getting that out to you too. I joked earlier, Byron Bucks, and that's another filler you'll see as card five. We'll check. Oh, bazooka. See? See, Dave? Come on. There's a bazooka back for the Twins. Joseph S. scores the Byron Bucks. And I do see him as the fifth card, not bazooka, though. I'll tell you that. But this one was. Cool. Love seeing the bazookas. Our second bazooka already of the night goes to the Twins, Joseph S., our other bazooka, if you remember, was none other than Jordan for Stephanie. Glad I f uh, flipped that guy around. But you'll notice that card was face up. And in the first case we did, any bazookas were like that. So you'd, you'd see them. It's kind of weird. Love the surprise. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. But yeah, going back to your comment, Stephanie, tribute is gorgeous. You know... The breakers, the, the professional breakers. There's a Lou Bob. We didn't quite get to him yet. Nice hit, Steph. Uh, the the breakers can crack so much of that really expensive stuff. I'm not there yet. And to be honest, I don't even know that I care to get that far. Where I'm getting into Flawless and NT and, and some of that. Uh, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. Tributes and Archive Signature Series was kind of fun. We did a full case of that. 20 on-card autos in one show. Price point wise, probably about where I'm willing to go. Maybe the, maybe the channel will take off even more. But what I don't want to become is the breaker that just flies through everything. I'll, I'll put that out there to everybody. There's a Shed Long for the Mariners. Don't see anything special with him. We'll take another look. It's just a personal pet peeve of mine. There's a Gavin. Nice. Dodgers, Louie. Get you another Gavin. I think that might be your first Gavin tonight on this show. Nice rookie card there, buddy. I just don't want to fly through everything. Eugene says, loves tribute, wish you could afford more of it. See, that's the problem. I don't mind doing it here and there, but some of these breakers that kind of exclusively do, and I understand why they do it. You know how many cards this is to sort. This is the third show tonight that's a 24-pack, kind of a large box, right? Our fifth card there is as Drupal Cabrera. Not bazooka and a bow. There's another bow. Lance P, get you another bow. It's a lot of sorting. You think about uh, these cards, have between 8 and 12 cards a pack times 24, but you're talking about thousands of cards. Thousands that have to be sorted. And it's uh, pretty taxing. That's the only part of this I don't like. I don't even mind the shipping aspect. Kind of think it's fun. Love doing the shows, obviously. Don't even mind cleaning up all the pack mess down here. It's, uh, it's the sorting. Thankfully, my wife is a saint. She's the type that says, I don't want to ever be on camera. I don't want to be frontline. You do that. She says, you like the spotlight. Go for it. Okay. She just wants to help me with this stuff. She's a great lady. And I don't deserve her. Uh, JT Real Muto is our card five. Does not seem like anything special there, so we'll keep moving on. Uh, we were asked uh, by Jake, any Mets hits? I don't think so. I don't recall any big Mets. We've had a lot of great great hits so far, but I don't remember the Mets. And if there are affordable products out there you guys want to see, and again, the, the card shops are, or the card companies are starting to print again. That's what my supplier told me. That's good. Um, so we'll be getting into some of that. That's a Glaber Torres, by the way. I know it's a little fuzzy. Glaber Torres, fortune teller. Um, so we're going to see some more products coming out soon, which is cool. Yeah, if there's products you want to see, let me know. Like I said, I'm not I'm not doing the flawless and the NTs and all that yet. Definitives, I'm not, not getting into that. But when you want to see this kind of stuff, by the way, I just was going to fly through this. This was the three chrome toppers we're doing right now because we finished up that second box. Best of luck to you on that. JD Martinez, that's colored. We'll say it like that. This one is numbered to 99. Stephanie, it's blue. It's a blue one. Because the indigo is to 149. Look at that. Tell me I'm wrong. 
Tell me I'm wrong. J.D. Martinez. I hope I'm right. I'll feel like a complete idiot if she tells me it's the other way around now. Dwayne, sorry. I know I'm, I'm just poking the bear on that one. That's real nice. I was right. Thanks, Steph. That is number 18 of 99. Great job for the Red Sox. Lindsay on the blue chrome topper there. Also have Mr. Lucas Giolito. Got a one of one of him in the archives uh, break last night. One of one auto rookie card. Pretty cool. Out of Topps Archives Signature Series. Oh, let's check for Bazooka Backs again. I know we got one in this box, so not likely another one, but who cares? We're chilling at Sunday night. We will check it out. We'll invest the time. Love when I get the blue versus indigo right. What I think I'm just going to do from now on, on that, Steph, the, the blue did seem a lot darker, so I'm just going to try to go off my gut, and we'll 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 see. It's going to drive Dwayne crazy, though. I don't, I don't blame you. He was probably going, last show, shut up about blue versus indigo. It is dumb, though. While we're, while we're just checking for Bazooka, that's pretty dumb. Blue and indigo. Well, just just do, a, just do a whole different color. My gosh. They're so alike in this. It's hard to tell the difference. Makes me look like a fool. I do a good enough job. That always, that always fools me, right? We're looking for color. I can make a big enough fool of myself without GQ helping me. Okay. All right, friends, that is two boxes in. We still have a lot more to do. Let's crack box three, shall we? Quick update there. That's what we got up on the wall. The Jordan World. The Yelly Auto. The Brendan McKay Rookie Auto. The Jordan Bazooka. And the Acuna Black and White, number to 50. Also have short prints over here that we'll look at in the recap. Some logo swaps. Another bazooka back. A lot of fun. Not bad for two boxes, huh? Yeah, Stephanie says it's it's hard, especially on eBay, because there are a lot of us that are not educated on the difference. So if you're broadcasting the fact that you're selling a blue, and you know, Stephanie knows the difference for sure, that's kind of annoying. You'd say, hey, seller, know what you're selling. At least if they take enough good pictures, you, you can, you know, figure it out. But, yeah, when you're searching for a blue, right, and, and then you keep pulling indigos, people are saying blue, that would be kind of obnoxious. How about an auto in the first pack? This is what I mean. You don't know where they're going to come from in Gypsy. That's the first pack. We're going to set that down. That is going to be our fifth auto of the night. Best of luck, friends. On what we have here. And that's Shed Long. We saw him earlier. Shed Long from the Seattle Mariners. Goes out to Ronald J. That is our fifth auto. Let's go ahead and get this one in a top loader for you, sir. Ronald J. has scored the Shed Long on-card auto from the M's. Take another look. And that one is coming your way. Put that in the recap. One pack in, one auto in. Yeah, Dwayne says <laughs> GQ made it harder than everybody. That that's maybe the only thing I don't like about this. I, I can get over it. For sure. Our fifth card is a is a missing nameplate. So there we saw him earlier. That's his Drupal Cabrera. You'll see there, no name there. Missing nameplate that does make it a short print. John, that's one of those, uh, you know, kind of weird deals, right? Getting back into cards, seeing all this weird stuff. But the short prints, they do have value. People chase them. They collect them. And uh, we'll recognize them because that's, uh, that's nice. How about another bow? Hey, bow. Lance, you got another bow. Is that your third bow already? I feel like I've said that three times now. It's at least two. Maybe three. Cool. Can't get enough Boba Shet. Just past midnight in Arkansas, 1 a.m. in the east. Just past 11 in the west. Thank you for staying up with me tonight. You can maybe 
Think about getting that in focus. That would be nice. There we go. Yelly. Hey, Yordan. Hey, Yordan. How about that, Steph? May not be another bazooka back, but it's a Yordan. Another one to add to your ever-growing collection here. Good stuff. There, the fifth card there is Howie Kendrick. Don't see anything. I want to be real careful watching up there. I don't see anything up there. Not bazooka so we'll move on. Dwayne says, okay, ready for the autos. we got to heat them back up. They were pretty hot at first. They've died down on us. We can't lose speed. Let's keep it going. There's a Vladdy base. Hernandez for Texas. There is also a Vladdy. It's your fortune teller. So again, not a rookie. It's a second year considered, but still a nice card there for the Blue Jays and Lance. Ten p.m. in SoCal, not eleven. My bad. He is not great with math. I try. I try to do the the Eastern Pacific thing. You know, three hour difference, right? And then we've got Arkansas. That's one hour off the east. It's really kind of confusing. Listing auctions is not fun either, because now they've got all Pacific time that it defaults to when you're. Uh, well, I didn't check for bazooka on there. No, nope. uh, defaults to Pacific time. So that actually jacked us up last night. Those of you that were with me. Because they defaulted me and didn't tell me. I didn't see, notice the PDT on there. And so we had auctions going off. Where inside the auction it said the break was already happened. That was frustrating. You want to talk about how many messages I fielded last night? Plus I had to bump everything back two hours. Not a fun night. The cards were great. Fifth card is a Urania. Don't see anything special about that one. No bazooka. But I think we're back on track. Thank you, Dwayne, for correcting what part of Southern California, if you don't mind me asking? I was born and raised in Riverside. That's why I ask. Obviously, being the Angels fan that I am, that happened being a, a Riverside resident. Steph's calling for more black and white. How about a logo swap? Card five is a Starling Marte. Hey, we're asking for the Bucks. William H., you're asking for the Bucks. And you got another one. Logo swap. I think you had a Newman earlier, didn't you? Kevin Newman. Well, now you've got a Starling Marte logo swap. Nice one there. Good player to have. Set that aside for you. Yeah, two pirate logo swaps. That is kind of crazy. Happy for William on that one. Card five is going to be Derek Dietrich. Don't see anything special about that one. Not bazooka. We move on. Ah, Inland Empire. Yes, Ventura. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Fifth card here is also going to be a fortune teller. It's going to be Judge. If you're Yankees. The Marlins always throw me off because you guys know some of the players' weekend jerseys are black like this. They've got the black pants, the, uh, the trout anyway that I've seen, the, the black on black there. I always have to stop and remind myself, no, they, those are base cards in this. Yeah, Riverside and the Empire, exactly. I always said I was from the IE. <laughs> Back when it was uh, the 909, and now Riverside is in uh, the 951, I guess. I know a lot of friends that had tattooed 909 and they change it up on them. There's an auto. They change it up on them and uh, bothered them a little bit. <laughs> now it's the 951. All right, we were asking for the autos to get better. Gypsy, what do you have for us? Okay, well, it's a Guriel Jr. Lourdes Guriel Jr. I saw the Blue Jay. I almost thought it was Vladdy there with the Jr., but uh, Lourdes Guriel Jr., that's going to go out to Lance P. Gets the Guriel. Let's go ahead and uh, sleeve this one up for you, Lance. I think the other logo swap on the Pirates, Jake, I think it was Kevin Newman. But I'm going to go back through it at the end if you're hanging around or want to watch the end of the video. Put that in the recap. Oh, 
Oh, John stationed at Point Magoo. 19, yeah, Bet Ventura's changed a lot. It, it that whole SoCal's just nuts. I moved. I've been in Arkansas about now as as long as I was there. Uh, I moved when I was eighteen, and I'm uh, thirty five now. Been the rest of the time in Arkansas. Fifth card is Smoke. Don't see anything there. Yeah, SoCal, of course, um, just blowing up. I don't miss it. I do not miss it. Oh, the second one Jake's asking about. The second logo. Here, I'll just... It was Marte. Marte and then Newman were the two pirates. Dwayne, do you surf? I mentioned surf in there. It's a Dylan Cease on the top. Dylan Cease rookie for the White Sox. Stephanie M's White Sox. Fifth card is a missing nameplate. We've been getting a lot of these, and it's a rookie card missing nameplate. It's Agrizol. Dario Agrizol for the Detroit Tigers. You've got that one coming, Matt M, with the missing nameplate variation. Nice card there, buddy. No problem, Jake. We aim to please around here. If you guys have any special requests, on the last chat, we had talked about, hey, can we go through them again and just look for French cards? Yeah, why not? See if we miss anything. Whatever you guys want to see within reason, I'm uh, I'm all about it. Give the people what they want. That's what we always say around here. Card 5 is DD. I'm going to try not to make the mistake of saying, I see him a lot, Card 5. He's not anything. And then watch the bazooka back happen again. Not that time, but I have seen DD as the fifth card. Alongside those angels. Another Astadio. Doing him no favors, Gypsy. The fifth card here is a Stalmont rookie. Looks like just a rookie there. I don't see anything else special about that one. DSJ, JD Martinez. For that Thursday night show, I'm going to have to go faster. We're not even three boxes in. I feel like I've been at this all night. Well, I have just different products. Brennan McKay, Mark, you've got another Brennan McKay rookie coming at you. Card five is a tarot, and that's going to be the Joker, Alex Bregman. For your Astros, Stephanie. Yep, been cracking since 6 o'clock local time. It's after midnight now. Long day for this guy. Of course, I had to get up early with my wife and clean up and with all that family coming over. It's just been a long day. And I go back to my normal day job tomorrow. Uh, Christian Yelich, Strength Tarot. There's a Lou Bob. Stephanie, get you another Luis Robert. There you go. Nice. Yep, I've got a webinar at 8 a.m. tomorrow for the day job. About an hour away from my house I've got to be at. <laughs> your boy's not going to get a whole lot of sleep. Hey, you're calling for black and white. Here we go. Good luck on who it is. It's Alcantara. So the Miami Marlins, Ryan C., this one will be numbered to 50. And it's number 15 out of 50 on the Sandy Alcantara Marlin card. There you go. Nice black and white there. Cool. Dwayne says, just so down on the Astros. So some of you have heard this story, and, and I apologize if, if you have. I'm just going to tell it again because we're, we're hanging out together. My son is six years old. I've got four kids. My son, my youngest is six. My boy, he's my sports nut. And I've tried to brainwash him to love the Angels, and he does. He'll, he'll watch them with me. But because we're in Arkansas, the Houston Astros are, are considered a local team, kind of like the Texas Rangers are. Here's a fifth card fortune teller is Keston Hira. Good one for the Brewers there. He loves the Astros. He got a little poster. He asked for a little poster, so we put up the Astros poster. Well, he's learned YouTube. 
okay, lately. So he's been watching, we've been watching, monitoring it, but he's been on YouTube, and he came in one night so upset, and he said, Dad, the Astros, they're cheaters. They cheated. I hate them. And we had to have a long talk about what he saw. Here we go on the fifth card. I'll continue the story in a minute. Sandy Koufax, that's going to be a short print for the Dodgers. Again, anything over 300 is a legend. That's number 315. So, Louie, the Sandy Koufax is coming your way. Let's top load that guy for you. Nice short print of Sandy. Good card to have, Louie. So my son's all upset. We had, we, had to, we had to talk it out. He told me, he said, Dad, you won't believe it. I think, I think Jose Altuve wore a wire because... He tried to cross home plate and every, he tried to pull his jersey off. You know, you guys know. There's another Gavin. Good hit for the Dodgers. A couple nice hits in this pack for Louie and his Dodgers. Between the Koufax and the Lux. They tried to pull his jersey off. And he stopped him because he had, he was wearing a buzzer. I mean, he, he, he'd learned so. Whatever he watched, he had learned a ton from that video. And he was upset. He was almost in tears. He was so angry. Six years old. Really grasping it. So we talked it out. I thought that was the end of it. I hate the Astros. Well, then, I'm sitting at the at the dining room table uh, a couple weeks ago, and he comes, and this is like like two weeks later. Like, it wasn't, wasn't the next day. I see him shoving something into the trash. Fifth card is Willie Adamas. Not Bazooka. Doesn't look special to me. And I see it was orange. He had it folded up, tore up, and shoving it in the trash. I said, what's that? He said... That's my Astros picture. That's my Astros poster. I said, son, you need to ask before you just tear something up like that. It's something we got you for your room. And he pointed into the trash can. I, I can't make this up. And he goes, you see that, Dad? That's what they are. The Astros, they're trash. I'm like, wow. They're garbage, Dad. <laughs> Fortune teller, Michael Chavis. Is there anything unique on that one? It's a fifth card of the pack. And he was, I mean, just been very upset. You know, we've been doing these these case breaks, and, and I have my own cards, of course, in the closet. And he, he's like, I'm going to throw away all your Astro cards. No, please don't do that, son. They do still have value. But if you want me to try to get rid of them, I can. He said, yeah, I've tried to get rid of them. Then he found out the Red Sox have had issues. Okay, so we've got a flipped over one here. That usually means, if it's not an auto, and it's not, it's going to be nice. So I'm going to set this down. I'm going to flip it in a second. Yeah, now he found out the Red Sox were, were had a similar but not near as bad scandal, so now we're talking that one out too. Pretty soon he's not going to like any team. Yeah, Dwayne, it's, it, I can't believe it affected him as much as it had. So uh, behind this card is our flipped over short print. Let's see what we've got. It's going to be Max Muncy, and look at that. See that right there, number 42? What does that mean? That is the Jackie Robinson Day parallel. You don't, I don't see very many of these. I love getting them. Max Muncy with that 42 on there for Jackie Robinson Day. How cool is that? Beautiful card. Just trying to see if there was anything else with it. Sometimes when it's flipped over, it's like a double variation. Like it wouldn't have surprised me if it was like bazooka backed too. It looks like just, just the Jackie Robinson. I say just. Uh, Dodgers, you had a really nice few packs here. Louie, you've got the Muncy Jackie Robinson Day. Nice card. I do have a good kid. I absolutely do. Stephanie just wants the Yordan who wasn't involved. <laughs> uh, I've tried to tell my son. I don't think you have to worry about Yordan. Not, not at this time. He's too new. He wasn't involved the last few years. But uh, my kid is a stud. I know everybody feels like that about their kids. He says he actually had his hair cut. His mom cut his hair the other day uh, to look like Mike Trout. Here's the King of Swords tarot, Chris Bryant. Your cubbies. Uh, Trout, if you'll notice, uh, kind of has a, not, not like a very distinct mohawk, but it's just kind of a little mohawk. And he asked if he could have his hair like Trout because he walks around the house. He tells everybody I'm Trout. And then he pause, he stops himself every time he goes, I'm Trout. No wait, I'm better than Trout. We are outside playing baseball all the time. This kid cannot get enough baseball. So Javi Baez, not seeing anything really unique with that one. Check for bazooka. Good boy. Everyone, uh, these breaks happen late at night, so I can't have him on, but uh, he's awesome. So the uh, Gypsy 3 Chrome card inside Topper, let's get into that. 
Yeah, Louie, I love the Jackie variation. Oh my goodness, how about that? With the color on the Beau Bichette. Ooh wee. That is number to 150, means that's an indigo. Indigo, Stephanie, on the Beau Bichette rookie. Now we're getting fired up again. Look at that. Just waiting for Stephanie to say, you're correct. That is a beautiful... I'm telling you, I say it every show, we're the Beau Bichette Whispers. We get more bows than anybody else, I feel like. If there is a sought-after bow, we're going to get it. Oh, good! Stephanie says I'm killing it with the colors. It's because of you, Steph. You're teaching me. You may not be able to see it in the camera. No, you can't. But I just put bow up. Bow is on the wall there. I'll show you in a minute. So proud. I'm so proud of me, too. I'm getting it. But you know how I got it was the serial number. <laughs> I didn't guess it from looking at the front. <laughs> Let's take a quick check of bazooka backs. See if we missed anything. Stephanie also asked, does he play? He does play. When we're not in COVID, he does play ball. He's been in T-ball, but we're having to skip this season, unfortunately, right? So he'll be in coach pitch next. So we've been working on that. Loving it. He's going to be better than Trout. That's what he says. Anything jumping out at us? That's a tarot. Another tarot. None there. Well, Stephanie, you said that's the only way you know, too. It's the numbers. Well, good. I don't feel so bad on that. Had to, had to look. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to guess it from the front because they, they do look very similar. The blue and the indigo. Dwayne, even you got to be proud of me. You saw how bad I fumbled that last show. All right, no added bazookas there. We continue on. Let me start a pile over here. Still two boxes left, four autos. Lots more fun. Oh, this is what we got so far. Well, it's hard to see with the glare, but we did it. You'll see we added the bow. They're on the right. Bo, you were on the wall. Six candidates right now. I started uh, doing these breaks, and I only had five of those stands, so I got another thing of five. I think the record we have is eight. I think we have eight. So we actually have a good chance to break that record tonight with how many we can get on stands. Still got that last box peeking behind the Yordan over there. Chilling, hanging out. Careful to open this guy up. There we go. Love it they had an added seal on this. That's pretty cool. Chrome topper to the side. Yeah, Dwayne's looking to get on the stand. That's where you want to be. this back down for us good luck friends box four how are we gonna do ten of this on Thursday I'm gonna have to I'm just gonna have to go faster you guys will be with me all night and again some of us are gonna be working card five is a Nick Williams don't see bazooka nothing special about that one John says hard to believe the amount of money that they get for those stands. I'm telling you. They're just uh, real simple. But we love them. Fun to display your stuff on. And they know that. Fifth card here is going to be a Tarot Wheel of Fortune. That's a Cunha for your Bravos. Ron's looking for Nats. Yeah, where's all of our Nationals tonight? We don't want him. That's not who we're looking for. been a great break first box was amazing nico but again there's uh there's 30 teams right so we want to get some rep representation i should say there's a soto helpful but still not what we're looking for for you there's some color and that's going to be marcus stroman for the mets that one is going to be numbered to 150 which i believe makes it blue 
75 of 150 Blue Stroman for Ricky R. Ricky had asked earlier, hey, got any, got any Mets? Well, there's one. Again, maybe not what he's looking for, but he's not going to turn it away either. How about that? Cody B. Fifth card coming up is going to be Kevin Kiermeyer. Don't see anything with that one. Not Bazooka. Keep moving. Keston Hira. Luis Castillo. Kind of wish that first box was in like the middle. Because it, it did get us really jacked up. And the, it hasn't been as good since then. I mean, that that one box, uh, you know, can make, it, make up for it for sure. But we still want more. All right, Fortune Teller, that's going to be a Yelly for Jeff. We're doing a lot of yelling in that first box. There's another Yordan for Stephanie. Keep them coming. Looks like, Steph, there's a blemish there. I don't know if you can see it. Just so you know, that didn't come from us. Just a little bit of a bend of the card there. I just want you to know that. It is, uh, it's on there. Now uh, you can't see it. You'll, you'll see it when you get it. Just know that bottom left corner has got a little ding, unfortunately, out the pack. John's getting sleepy. Come on, we gotta wake up. Wake up, that fifth card was Howie. Didn't see anything with Howie. Let's go, big autos, big short prints. Get something you're excited about. Trout. Card five, that's a logo swap. That's Louis Severino. So Yanks, you've got a Louis Severino logo swap. Very nice card there. Put that with the others. Michael Chavis, Iglesias, and Whit Merrifield. John says, need a big pull. we got to wake up. It's getting late. I'll try to speed us up a little bit without uh, ruining the integrity of the program. How about that? Fifth card is Urania. Don't see anything with Urania there. There's a Puck. AJ Puck. Nice one there. Jeremiah's asking any cubbies. Uh, any big cubbies? No. I feel like I called your name earlier. Maybe it might have been a variation or something. 126 in South Carolina. John's still trying not to nod off. All right, guys, we got a hit. Wake up, San Francisco. We got a hit. It's an auto coming up. Come on, something to get excited about. Here we go, here we go. Good luck. Dennis Smith Jr. Dennis Smith Jr., if you are in the Orioles, you're happy. Phillips Orioles with the DSJ. There that one is. Maybe not the best card in the checklist. <laughs> but he's got a DSJ. On card auto. Stay with me, friends. Stay with me. What are we going to do on the on the big show Thursday? I'm going to have to go fast. I will. I'll go faster. Maybe, maybe I will be like some of those other breakers. That's a Vlad base. Fifth is the... There's a Yordan. Another Yordan. Fortune Teller Yordan. That's a base. That's orange. I know Stephanie knows that. There's another one for you, Steph. It's a Ham Ham. Bryce Harper. Thames and LeMayhew. Fifth card is uh, Jake Rogers. See anything special with this guy? Not as a player, just as a card.
Fifth card is another Dietrich. You'll see him, right? Don't see anything with that one. That one was a bummer pack. John says Cubbies have been quiet. Yeah, I agree. Maybe they're they're due. Card five is a missing nameplate, and I believe that is Will Smith. It is. We saw the auto of him earlier. Dodgers, Louie, you've got the uh, the Will Smith missing nameplate to add to the Will Smith auto tonight. There you go. Paxton Belt and Soroka. Card five is Rowdy Telez. See anything special about that one? Again, feel free to treasure hunt when you get the cards. So I'm going to speed us up a little bit, considering it's 1.30 in the east. On a school night, sort of. Work night for some. Kyle Lewis, rookie. Fifth card is a Starling Marte Tarot. John says, nothing better than watching the Cubs at Wrigley. I have not done that. It's on the bucket list. I have not had the pleasure yet of watching those Cubbies. Got color here. B squared, Bobby Bradley, the assassin. This one is numbered to 250, which makes it indigo. 88 out of 250 on the indigo, Bobby Bradley, rookie for Cleveland. Logan F., your Indians. Nice. Indigo. Rookie card there. Oh, did you miss the Will Smith? You were, you've been in and out of here, it sounds like. Yeah, you got a Will Smith auto in there, I think. Pretty sure we pulled a Will Smith auto. It all runs together on me, friends. Fortune Teller, that's an Acuna. Ronald Acuna, Fortune Teller there. JD, there's another Lou Bob. Stephanie gets you another Luis Robert. Yeah, so you got that uh, that Will Smith and the, the missing nameplate and the auto tonight. Yeah, you didn't comment at that point. I'm like, well, maybe you didn't like Will Smith. I don't know. He was gone. That's what it was. There's an Acuna base. Fifth card. Hey, there we go. It's a legend. Ricky Henderson, short print. That's going to go out to Mike. That's number 316 on the checklist. That goes out to Mike W, who's got the A's tonight. Always want to top load your uh, your legends, because that's how I like mine. Safe and a top loader. There we go. Nice card. There's another bow. Nothing wrong with that. Bo Bichette, Lance P. Third or fourth bow, by my count. Still have another box to go. Fifth card is going to be Javi Baez. Nothing special with that guy. The card that is. Sure, he's a special human. Oh, he's a good ball player. Fifth card is another fortune teller. That is Tatis. So we were calling for Tatis. Eugene, uh, that's a nice fortune teller card for you there of your boy Tatis. John says, don't know why, but every Acuna in a pack is always the first card. It does feel like that, huh? Something to do with their print runs, the way they do it. Fifth card is Yachty. Beautiful Yachty. Wish that one was bazooka, but I don't see anything... Necessarily unique about that one is card five, so we'll continue. Nobody swipes bases like him anymore. It's a fine art, isn't it? A tarot, that's fifth card, that's Rafi Devers for the Red Sox. Eugene says, I'll take it. Absolutely. Don't turn it away, buddy. Never turn it away. There's a judge base. Card five is Austin Dean. 
Don't see anything with him. Not bazooka. John says, misses the base stealing aspect. Yeah, absolutely. They're, all these advanced analytics. I love my Astadio. All these advanced analytics. There's our. I was wondering if we had one more hit coming as the last pack. So that's an auto there. Advanced analytics, you can argue, have, have helped us, and it maybe hurt us a little bit, too. Still like that old school stuff. How about uh, Column A? He's going to show us what this is, hiding it for us. Best of luck, friends. Let's get back on track. It's another Guriel. How about that? But you'll notice the color around it. So Lance kind of scoring on a couple Guriels. That's numbered to 150 there on the color Guriel. That is like the third time I have seen the same guy in the same half case. Uh, it was Muncie before. I saw two Muncies in the same place. Same box, I think. Uh, very weird. But uh, So we see how their print runs go. That's a Guriel to 150 Really trying to pick it up. I got high hopes for the last box. Let's do a quick check of bazooka and then we'll get into the chrome toppers. We didn't see a bazooka in that uh, box. Not that, of course, they're one per box. They're usually just a handful per case. But since we didn't see one there, maybe we'll get lucky and pull one here. I'm trying to go fast for you guys. I know it's getting late. I'm getting a little tired. Fast without ruining the product. Nothing there. Last stack. Nothing there. Let me get these cards moved so we can continue the show. There we go. Oh, we still have our chrome topper. Let's do that. <laughs> John says, I'm retired. Sleep as late as I want. You got to do what I want. How about that? And we got color. Aroldis Chapman gets us started with this one. That is number to 150. That one is an Indigo. Indigo Aroldis Chapman. Good hit there, Yanks. Carl H. Put a sleeve on that guy. The Indigo Chapman to 150. Ben Attendee. And we have Frankie Lindor as our other chrome toppers. Quick check of what's happening behind. We still have six on the wall. I do think as we look to vote for Big Bite of the Night, obviously all those cards are cool. I don't know why I have this random Acuna hanging out over here. Let's put him in that stack. Um, for me right now, I would say it's either the Jordan Bazooka or the Black and White Acuna. I don't know how you guys feel about that. That would be, for my money, I'm, I'm saying it's a two-horse race. If I'm wrong, maybe you feel the the colored bow topper is, is better. I don't know. Um... That's for my money, that's that's where I'm at right now on this. Ron says, let's make it 10 on the wall. That means we'd have another nice box like we had before, and I'm good with that if you are. This is it, friends, to wrap up this case. You'll see us cracking again Thursday night. This stuff, and I actually think we start a new case Friday. I think I've got, I, thankfully I grabbed a few of these. All right, here we go. Let me get this knife out the way. Best of luck, friends. I'll bring this back down so we can see what's what. Trent Grisham rookie. We've got a Brendan McKay, and that's a fortune teller. So nice little insert there. Tampa Bay, Mark B, with your McKay rookie. Fortune teller variation, or insert rather. Paxton Belt and Soroka. Yeah, Louis says Jordan Bazooka has my vote. I'm kind of leaning that way too. That's your top rookie and it's Bazooka backed. I don't know. 
That uh, that 50 Acuna is real nice. There's a Dustin May, also as the fifth card. We saw that earlier. Don't see anything unique necessarily with that one, but still a nice card. Yeah, push comes to shove, I'm going Yordan too. At this point. But it's I think it's a two-horse race. Of course, all nice cards on the wall. Fifth card, another angel. I want to tell you. Simba. Simba, do you have a bazooka? Nope. No bazooka. Fifth card is going to be Scherzer. Don't see anything there with the Nats. Diaz and Calhoun. Yeah, it's looking like the Jordan Bazooka is going to be the the favorite tonight. So far, we're three for three on those votes. Fifth card is a Freddie Freeman Tarot. It's strength. It's be a nice card for Stephanie to get a hold of. See, color is our fifth card. And that's Jose Altuve, who certainly saw the sign. My kid would be angry right now for us pulling that. That is numbered to 250, making it indigo. 102 of 250 on the indigo Altuve. This is like seven or eight times in a row I've gotten this color right. Kepler, Murphy, and Strasburg. Matt stepped away. Any Tigers hits? No, I don't think so. I do not recall any Tigers coming out. Fifth card is a Tiger. It's Jake Rogers, rookie. Don't see anything unique about that one? <laughs> John votes for Acuna, but he's biased, so I don't know that we can count his vote. <laughs> Fifth card of the pack is going to be a fortune teller. It's a Lubob. Very nice. Stephanie's Lubob, fortune teller rookie card. Beautiful there. Oops. It's a keeper. <laughs> Having a Ricky Henderson discussion. Ricky loved Ricky. That's very true. Fifth card, it's an auto. Good. And I believe we have a serial number on that, friends, which means it's colored. Okay, here we go. Auto number nine of the night. Shohei's going to block it for us. Here we go. Astadio! Looking good, my friend! And it's colored! We would pull that tonight. 95 out of 99 on the Astadio for the Twins, Joseph S. My goodness. <laughs> oh, boy. Jake asks any pirates hits. I don't think since you left before. I, I think just those two uh, short prints we talked about. But uh, Ask the Dio comes out again. <laughs> oh, man. Dwayne says, my vote for top card to be pulled is a Player's Day logo swap. Trout. That hasn't been pulled yet. Okay. I dig it. 
Asked about any good Mets. I don't remember any big Mets pulls. Fifth card is a smoke. Seen anything there? Y'all must be doing other breaks or something. John says Asadio has about 99 chins. <laughs> Matt talks about the stolen base record. Wouldn't that be good for baseball? Someone comes around and challenges Ricky. Ricky'd hate that. Uh, Alexander for Detroit is our fifth card. Not seen anything special with that one. Ricky would not be happy with that. There's a trout. Trout base. Love that card. Why am I not wanting to focus here? Even my camera's getting tired. Third break, long breaks tonight. Here is a logo swap, Lorenzo Cain. So the Brewers have that one. Brew Crew and Jeff W. We'll keep the Lorenzo card there. Keston Hira, Castillo, and Nola. Can't believe we got the Astadio Auto. I know it's not worth anything. Still cool. Colored, and it's uh, Matt Theis for the Angels rookie card. Dwayne M. This one's going to be numbered to 150, which makes it blue. The blue Matt Theis rookie card to 150. Good hit there, Dwayne. Worth putting away. Followed up by A.J. Puck. So there's a Puck for Mike W., I remember a couple, see, see only a couple of him tonight. Ham Ham, Bryce Harper. Oh, what do I have cards laying around here for? I don't know, but we looked at them. Yeah, Dwayne says, love Williams, he never strikes out. He actually holds a, a, a major league record. For fewest strikeouts over over so many plate appearances or something like that, and and you gotta believe that's how dude made made it to the majors. That fifth card I went by was J D Davis, not a bazooka. But no money these days in stolen bases. He says only home runs. We I agree though. We need to get the stolen bases back. That was very exciting to watch that play go off. Fifth card is a tarot. That's Wheel of Fortune, Ham Ham. I believe we still are waiting on one more auto, kids. And if you do end up bouncing out after that and miss the recap, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Obviously, that helps me out. Check out the Facebook page. And don't forget, we've got a lot of fun coming up. There's a Yelich fortune teller. Uh, I'm off tomorrow and Tuesday from breaking, but Wednesday night we get the party started again. There's a Gavin Lux. We're going to crack a uh, second uh, part of that Heritage case, and then we're going to open up a new case of Donruss Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to do the Leather and Lumber. We're going to open up that case, half case. And then we're going to do full case of Gypsy on Thursday night. And, of course, you know we got a stacked Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We always do. Uh, there's another out. There's another uh, Jordan. So that's the another fortune teller. I think that's the second one you've got, Jordan. Stephanie, another one for you there. Go to the Facebook page. Give it a little like so you can stay involved in what's going on here. And thank you for helping us keep the channel going. It's because of you I get to crack cards. Uh, Mike Trout. The star, that's nice, Tarot. Dwayne, you get the uh, the Trout Tarot card there. Come on, hit. And we still have the Chrome Topper, so after this last auto, you may still want to hang around for that. Maybe not. How about a Jackie Robinson? There we go. Nice legend card for the Dodgers. Beautiful. That's number 320 in the set. Jackie. Louie, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a top loader on that guy for you. Mail him out. Nice, Jackie.
And there's our other auto. Stay tuned. Auto number 10. Four more packs, and then we'll get into the, the chrome topper. Best of luck to each of you. We wrap the autos up. Hey, Dustin May. That's a good one. Dodgers, Louie, Dustin May, auto rookie. He's one of the top prospects. That's a nice one. We finally break the, the rough auto streak. With the Dustin May. On card rookie auto. Nice one. Sweet. Four more packs for the Chrome Topper. It says best flow in the show. Make it happen. Yeah, Dwayne, that is kind of weird. Where's all the Cardinal legends? There's another Astadio with 14 chins. Oh, we've got one to flip over. That's cool. So that's going to be a short print. Usually a pretty good one when they do it like that. Best of luck on the short print, friends. Here we go. Oh, and it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And it is a Jackie Robinson day. Maybe hard to tell with this, but that is a number 42 on the sleeve. You're going to have to trust me. Uh, Jackie Robinson Day, Fernando Tatis. It's got a 42 patch. There you go. You can see that. We were calling for him earlier, Eugene. Bam. Very nice card there. So I believe that's only the second Jackie Robinson Day we've had tonight. And it's the guy you wanted. Tatis. Let me put that in a holder for you, too. I'm glad you waited up for him. That's right. You've been waiting for him. That's fair. There he is. Coming your way, bro. That's a nice card. Wait to wait, wait it out. And there was a Gritchick there, too. A few more packs, and we will call it a night, friends. Shut this baby down. Fifth card is a Glasnow. Don't see anything special with that one. For those who want to stick around, I'll do a quick hits recap, and we'll check the Zuka backs also after we do the Chrome Topper. That way, if you want to stay, you can. There's a Nico, and then I'll do the uh, the recap. And we're missing nameplate. Good, so we're getting some SPs on the way out. Texas Rangers, that's Willie Calhoun on the short print there. Nice job. Jim B and the Rangers. Put that in the short print pile. Eugene says, first break and you'll be back. Thank you so much. Whether, whether you get what you want or not, I just hope you have a lot of fun. I think that's what grows the channel. I have no say-so over what's in this pack, but uh, or these packs, but um, thank you for the compliment on that. Fifth card is a Yamamoto rookie for the Marlins. I'm pretty sure that's just the, the base there. Okay, let's do Chrome Topper. And then I'll check bazookas and then do recap. If you guys are bouncing out of here after this, thank you for spending your time, your hard-earned money with me. I always want to uh, project my appreciation because it's because of you I get to crack open these cards. So thank you for that. Manny Machado, Chrome. And I wish you guys the best of week, uh, best week too. Uh, we got color here. Gra uh, Graterol, Graterol for the Twins. That's number to 99, which makes it blue. I'm on a roll. Blue, Graterol rookie for the Minnesota Twins. And Joseph S. Nice there. And our last chrome is a base chrome, and it is D.D. Gregorius. Good stuff there. I'll uh, quick check. Good night for those that are leaving us. We'll check for bazookas, and then we will uh, do a quick hits recap. Thank you all. Thank you. I really appreciate the support. You guys are very kind. Thank you. Seriously, it means a lot. Hope everybody had fun at least. Whether you got what you wanted or not. Not 
not see any bazookas here, friends. All right, quick recap for those that are hanging around. Just move this over. I messed with our Lubob there. All right, so we've got those uh, short prints, uh, some of those cool variations and stuff. Here's the pile. We had the Calhoun missing nameplate, the Lorenzo Kane logo swap, Will Smith missing nameplate, Sevy logo, uh, logo swap, Max Muncy, that's the Jackie Robinson day number 42, the Alcantara number to 50. We have the missing nameplate rookie for the Tigers. Uh, that is Agrizal. I didn't know him off the top of my head. Starling Marte logo swap. We have the missing nameplate of Esdrubal Cabrera. The missing nameplate of Sonny Gray. Kevin Newman logo swap. Kevin Kiermeyer logo swap. And then a missing nameplate Yachty. As far as the other hits, those that were in the top loaders. Tatis, that was the Jackie Robinson Day. Beautiful card there. Dustin May, auto rookie. Jackie Robinson, short print. Astadio, 299. Uh, Guriel to 150. Ricky Henderson, short print. Dennis Smith Jr., Sandy Koufax, short print. The base uh, Guriel auto. Shed Long, on card auto. Uh, Byron Buxton, that was the bazooka back, I believe it was. Bazooka. Reggie Jackson, short print. There's that Will Smith auto we were looking for. It's there. Allard for the Rangers uh, auto as Yastrzemski legend. The World, Jordan Alvarez. Last but not least, we have those up on the wall tonight. That is your Dante, Dante Bichette, bah, it's late, Bo Bichette to 150. That is your Indigo rookie. We have, how about a Brendan McKay auto rookie for your Rays? Nice card there. We have a Christian Yelich. Cool. Auto there. We have a Jordan to 250 rookie. That was our first card up tonight. And then there were two uh, that we that were having a hard time choosing between, but it does seem like it's pretty obvious. The first runner up for Chomp's Big Bite of the Night is going to be the Ronald Acuna Black and White to 50. And your Chomp's Big Bite of the Night, Jordan Alvarez rookie card, Bazooka back. That's right, we pulled it. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed your weekend, your Mother's Day. Have a great rest of the week. Stay safe, friends. Love you guys. It's Chomps signing off. You've been chomped. Better, kids.